Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing the famous pumpkin spice latte inspired makeup look. I actually did this last year. I don't know if I did it the year before, but I'll link the one that I did last year. And it's just kind of become a thing that I enjoy doing every year. I love watching other people's renditions of this look. And it's funny because I actually don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I, I just don't like them. They're way too sweet. And even if I get pumpkin spice lattes from other places, like not Starbucks, but other places, I'm just not a fan. Um, but I love doing this look every year and I love these tones and I'm really excited to share with you how I created this look. So if you want to get into the fall spirit, grab some of your eyeshadows that have these nice kind of warm, slightly maybe a little on the orange peachy apricot side if you have some gold you can pull out some gold eyeshadows browns whatever whatever you whatever inspires you whatever makes you think of pumpkin spice lattes or even just fall time in general you can pull out your makeup and do your makeup along with me if not sit back relax grab a drink grab a snack grab a pumpkin spice latte if you're able to or make one for yourself at home and let's go ahead and get into it all right so let's hop right in I know I have this mirror right here. It might be a little distracting. I'm going to try it for this video, but I am so blind. And I feel like in my last few videos, I've just had a hard time seeing. Um, because when I film, I don't put my contacts in. I just, there's no reason to put my contacts in. Obviously, I can't do my makeup with my glasses on. So it's just really difficult for me to see what I'm doing. And I have to hold a mirror like up to my face. So I'm thinking this will help alleviate that. But um, of course, if it's too distracting, I'll take it down, but I think it's, I think it's okay. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into the makeup. Um, I'm gonna do just like a very normal base that I would uh, normally do. There's nothing really different about this base, but I do have a few new products. Uh, Sigma has their new Cinderella collection, so there's a little cheek duo here. Um, but everything I just kind of shot my stash and um, I'm actually going to do a tinted moisturizer today. This is the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint. I really like this one. This is a great tinted moisturizer from the drugstore and I've just been really enjoying it. So I use this in the shade medium with the Sigma Cinderella collection. They sent over a few of their brushes. This is in their permanent line. It's their F80 Flat Kabuki, which is, I know is a very cult favorite within the line. I've actually never tried it before, so I'm excited to test this out today with my tinted moisturizer. I'm just gonna dot this across the face and then I'm gonna test out this brush. So I wanna go pretty light with my base because um, in terms of foundation, because I am gonna be using a more full coverage concealer. I like pairing a very light tinted moisturizer with a more full coverage concealer. That way I don't have to apply coverage all over my face. So for concealer, I'm gonna use my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Oat. It is too light for me, so I'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Sand. I actually find that these formulas are quite similar in terms of the way they look on the skin. The Hourglass one is a little bit thicker but I find that they have a very similar effect on the skin, so I think pairing them together should be fine. But I like my concealers to match my skin rather than be lighter like this, so that's why I'm gonna mix in the e.l.f. concealer. And then I'm just gonna blend my concealer out with this Sonia Kashuk sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face down, and for that I'm going to use my 14E Aloe Prime and Set Powder. All right, and this brush is actually one that came with this Cinderella collection. Uh, it's their F10 Powder and Blush Brush. So I'm going to pick up some more of that 14E powder and just pat that on the rest of the face. I normally don't use this powder on my whole face, but... I don't want to get up and go get another one, so we're going to try it out today. Oh my gosh, I love this brush. 
it's the perfect size. It's kind of a weird, weird shape, but it's oddly just like the perfect brush for applying powder and it's really soft. All right, so Sigma did come out with this ch cheek duo in the new Cinderella collection. So you've got a blush and a highlighter. I'm not gonna use this highlighter because it is very, very light and very kind of chunky. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think it's gonna go with the uh, pumpkin vibes that we're, we're doing on the eyes today. So I pulled this from my collection. This is the Mineral Fusion Bronzer in Luster. I used to love this bronzer. I don't know what happened, but I'm excited to use it today because this used to be one of my favorite bronzers. It's a bronzer and a highlighter. You can, of course, mix them together and use them as a, make it like a shimmery bronzer. I'm actually going to go in with just the highlight first and use that as my highlight, and then I'll go in with the bronzer side. But I used to love this, and I don't know what happened. I don't know why I stopped using it, but it's a really pretty bronzer highlight duo. So I'm going to take that highlighter all over the high points. Okay, I'm going to use this BK Beauty 104. I'm only going to pick up the bronzer. I'm not going to mix them together because I do want a matte bronzer today. Take some down my nose. All right, so like I mentioned, they did come out with a cheek duo, and I'm gonna use this blush, and I think this blush is actually gonna be really pretty for this look. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's like a, a nice peachy pink, nice warm pink, and I think it'll be perfect for our pumpkin spice tones we're, we've got going on, or we're going to have going on. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm a huge fan of Sigma blushes. Their highlighters, I feel like, are a little chunky. Are the ones that I've tried, at least. But their blushes are so beautiful. That's such a pretty color. I'm going to take this a little bit higher. Kind of up into my... Onto my brow bone. Alright, so I already started applying eyeshadow. I thought I hit record. I just started, so I didn't get into it too far. Um, but I'm gonna show you what palette we're using and then we'll go to the eyes. So this is the new Sigma Cinderella palette. I honestly was not gonna use this for this look. Um, I was gonna pull another eyeshadow palette that I already had, but this came in the mail and I thought this was the perfect color story for this look. And there's a shade called Pumpkin. So that is definitely a shade we're gonna be playing with today. I also wanna play with this shade. And even this green right here called Courtyard would be so pretty for a pumpkin spice look. Maybe just a little bit of a liner. I don't know, we're just gonna to play today. There's a really pretty gold in here. And I don't have a look in mind, but I just loved the color story. And I love Sigma eyeshadows. They just, they do eyeshadow so well. So when I saw this in the mail, I was like, I gotta, I gotta play with this, I gotta try this. Um, so. As I was saying before I realized I was not recording, I'm gonna take the shade Pumpkin and I'm just taking it on the brush that comes in the palette. Um, there are two sides to this brush. There's an E38 diffused crease brush and a E54 medium sweeper. So I'm taking Pumpkin on the E38 diffused crease and I'm just gonna run this through my crease all the way up to my brow and then just softly kind of blend it out kind of towards my hairline. Um, this is gonna be a really soft shade. So I'm kind of just working pumpkin right in this little outer crease and then just softly blending it all over the crease and taking it all the way to the brow and then just sweeping it past my brow towards my hairline. All right, so I'm gonna take that same pumpkin shade I'm going to take it on the other brush, which is the E54 Medium Sweeper. And I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. Honestly, this color on its own is such a pretty look all by itself. I really like this color. Um, but we are going to play a little bit more with the palette. So I'm going to dip into Cinders, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to take it on a Sigma Beauty Bird 
Dream Detailed Blending Brush. Basically just a kind of flat, fluffy brush. I don't know how to describe that. Right in this outer corner, add some depth and dimension. And then kind of slowly take it through the crease just a little bit. Not too much. And I'm going to go back and forth in between these brushes. Just go back in and blend. And then add more color as I, as I want to. But I overall want to keep this look really soft. Because when I think of a, a drink or, you know, a latte or something like that, um... I don't know, I just feel like everything should just be really creamy, really soft, nothing too, too harsh. Gosh, these shadows are blending out so beautifully. You cannot mess these up. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of Cinders, which is that deeper shade, and I'm just going to hit that right in this outer corner on my lower lash line, just to kind of deepen this outer V we have going on. All right, so I'm liking everything so far. I feel like I've got to use this gold. Like, I feel like that would just really complete the whole pumpkin spice vibe. I'm not a huge fan of gold. I don't like wearing gold on my eyes unless it's like a bronzy gold, but like a really bright gold is not really my style, but I might just have to do it for the look. I love the shade Dressmakers which is this one right here. That's kind of more my style, like a rose gold. Um, but I feel like that doesn't really go with the pumpkin spice. All right, let's do the gold, which is called Charming. And I think I'll use a brush with this. All right, so I'm gonna take the shade Charming, which is this, whoop, it's really pretty gold. I'm gonna use it on a Sigma Beauty Bird Dream Fluffy Shader brush. I'm just gonna pick it up dry. All right, and then I'm going to go back in with the E38 Diffused Crease Brush, no additional product, and just blend right along that edge. Wow, this is so different than how I normally do eye makeup, but I feel like this really does capture the pumpkin spice look. Yeah, it's a little gold for me. Maybe I'll just take my brush and kind of blend over it. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Cinders, which is that shade that we used on the outer corner that's a little bit deeper. And I'm just going to reapply it just right here on this outer corner. I'm loving this look. This is so pretty. All right, I'm going to take a little bit more of pumpkin, a little lower on my lower lash line, just to help smoke that out a little bit more, and then we'll be done. That is a wrap. I love this, and I'm not a gold person, but I love this a lot. So, I actually want to do some lashes today, um, because I just bought some lash glue, and I want to make up for my lash debacle in my last video. <laughs> um, or was it my last two videos? The one where Chris picked my makeup and he picked these lashes that were just... I did not like them. So I want to redeem myself. And I want to do some lashes today. And I think that'll really kind of play up the pumpkin spice glam. So these are the Silly George lashes in the style Girl Friday, I think. I was sent these a really long time ago. Uh, these lashes actually come with an eyeliner that's lash glue. It's liner and lash glue, but I didn't like it. And I actually don't like dark lash glue. I like clear lash glue, so I'm going to use my own. Um, but this is what the lashes look like. They look really pretty, really soft, very natural. Definitely more my style. Um, so yeah, that's what they look like. Um, my favorite lashes are actually the Ardell Demi Wispies. I really need to order some off of Ulta because I haven't had those in a long time. Those are my favorite lashes. They're so flattering on my eye shape. 
Um, and I just find that other lashes, I just can't get them to work that well. Um, so we're going to try these today. I'm using my Duo brush on, brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. I've used this for years. It's just my favorite. I'm going to apply these off camera because I am horrible at applying lashes. And it takes me a long time. But I'm going to apply these off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so these lashes are definitely more my vibe. And actually what I did is I cut the ends off so to make them fit my lash my eyes better. But then that extra little third or fourth, whatever it was, the extra little bit that I cut off, I actually stacked it on this outer corner. So I actually have a little double stacking of lashes right here on this outer corner just to give a little bit more definition and kind of volume on this outer corner. And I did that on both sides. So this is how I, this is the kind of false lashes that I prefer. But yeah, that was, they were really easy to apply. I'm gonna do a couple more things on the eyes and then we'll move on to the lip. I'm gonna take the shade Wishful from the Cinderella palette. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner corner, just a little bit. I don't want it to be too loud. And then I want to put something in my uh, waterline. So I'm going to take my Era Perez Jojoba Eye Pencil in the shade Gold. All right, and then for the lip, I'm going to use the, well, I'm going to see. I don't know how this is going to look. I don't know if it'll go with the pumpkin spice look. But uh, with the Cinderella Collection, Sigma also came out with a liquid lip. This is in the shade Dreamy. So let me swatch this so we can see what this looks like. I was going to go for a really warm kind of brownie nude, but I kind of want to try this too. Yeah, it's definitely more on the mauve side. Mmm. Okay, let's just try it. All right, actually, this, this looks really good with this eye look. I was thinking it was going to be too cool toned, whoops, but that actually looks really good. I've never tried um, the Sigma liquid lip formula. It feels really nice. All right, and then I'm going to take the Persona Almond lip pencil and line my lips. All right, that's really pretty. I actually like that combo. Um, they did come out with a gloss as well. I'm not going to apply it today. But I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. It has like micro glitter in it. Not a huge fan of glittery glosses, but I love Sigma glosses. So that's the gloss. It's actually pretty sheer. But yeah. So yeah, really nice little collection. It's a little young. Um, when I got it, I was like, oh, Cinderella, like, you know. But actually, the eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. It's really pretty. It applied beautifully. I love my eye look. I feel like I have achieved the pumpkin spice look. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. All right, guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying all of my fall looks. I'm having a blast creating them. I still have a few more ideas, and um, I'm going to do a drugstore fall video coming soon so um, of course if you have any other ideas anything you want to see please let me know in the comments down below but I really enjoyed this one I'm just really enjoying Sigma eyeshadows so if you haven't tried their formula I kind of want to go on their website and see what else they have and maybe pick up another one because um, yeah their formula is really good and I love the way that my eyes turned out. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord, of every song we sing.